Matthew here, porcelain surgeon, bathtubrenew.com. All right, so we're here on this little peeler that we got to do. Somebody took the spray bomb DYI kit to it. We got to strip her all off. That's why I got my fresh air system here. I'm getting ready to put this on. Let's check this one out. Yeah, let's do the tour. Somebody took a spray bomb to it, did the DYI. This is why you don't do the DYI because once you do it, it doesn't like to clean. And you get all types of runs like this all over it. Isn't that nice? Oh, I'll just do it myself. I saved myself a lot of money. So yeah, they might have saved themselves some money. But now they're paying me to do it. I didn't save very much money, did it? You could have got me to do it in the first place. Oh well, life goes on in the big smoke. Here we go. Uh, looking pretty gnarly. What you saw me do with the sandpaper after all the stripper dried on the tub and I scraped it all off. I scraped it all off with this guy. Um, you can see that it's an epoxy job and it doesn't really eat into all of it right away, but it is getting softer. So I dried it, I took the 40 grit by hand, I reopened it all up again, and then I vacuumed everything off because it, it's, it's, it's dry now, like it's completely dry. So I'll keep reapplying thin coats like that and keep repeating that process until I can take a razor blade and scrape everything off the tub. So I basically don't have to sand anything, maybe around the edge, I'll take a machine and go around the edge and maybe the drain and my die grinder around there and that'll be it. So I don't know if that helps anybody, but reopen it up in between coats of stripper because if I just put the stripper on without reopening it up it, and this, this is a very chemically resistant coating, it'll take a lot longer. So this is the second coat of stripper that's on it. So um, on some of these, they're very chemical resistant. So you have to duplicate, you know, do it many times until it'll, it'll all come off with the razor blade. So I might have to do this one more time after this, but thin coats is the secret because if you do thin coats, then it's easier to scrape it off. And then, you know, it's basically dry when you go to scrape it off. So I'm gonna leave that on for another 15 minutes. I'll just keep repeating the process. And then once it all comes off, then I'll start, you know, and I've got maybe like 2% left, then I'll get my little sander out, rip around it with my little sander, and then we'll then we'll start the, the masking process. So now that we put two coats on of a stripper and done it twice, now I have to make a decision whether I'm gonna put on for a third time because there still is a little bit on it. Um, and I wanna get it all off, but will it come off? Can I, inevitably I'm gonna have to go over the entire tub with this. If you see any of my other stripping videos, I've got to go over the entire tub with this. So, will it all come off really easy? You know, where I can just spend about 15 minutes and just scrape the entire tub with every square inch of it with this? Is it going to come off that easy? This, this is... So it does look like it's going to scrape off easy enough that I'm going to be able to do it all the rest of that. So that's the decision I have to make now. I got two coats. Sometimes I might've had to clean it all again, 40 it all down with a machine again, and then put another coat of stripper on it. That'd be the third time. Wait 15, 20 minutes, let that dry on it. Scrape it again, see what else comes off. And then go to this guy and see if I can peel it off just like how I'm doing again. But 
you just keep repeating that process so you can peel it all off of the razor blade. Eventually it will get soft enough that you can do that. But I've had to do it three times before. I used to do just coat on coat on coat and then it was still just as hard. I found that doing it this way is actually the cleanest, the easiest and the fastest. And you know, I used to actually take a grinder and grind the whole tub off with a polisher and 40 grit on a Velcro backing pad. And that is about, takes about the same amount of time. It's only about 30 times harder though. You're exhausted after you do that. And if you've got like sore ligaments and joints and tendonitis in your elbow, then you'll end up getting, you know, really sore joints doing it that way. This way it's almost effortless. It does take about the same amount of time. Like by the time I get this all stripped down and cleaned, and blown and the caulking removed and stuff like that, it's probably, we're probably looking at 50 to 60 minutes to actually strip the entire coating off. But I'd rather do it that way than grind for 60 minutes. All right, back to the job. These are always fun ones when you find stuff like this. I want you guys to check this out. If you see right here, see how there's like two colors right there? See that right where it goes from two colors? It kind of goes, the original tub is right there. Then there's like a yellowish, then there's a whitish right there. Well, this tub was done with an epoxy. I don't know who God knows how long ago. And then this is, see how it's kind of like getting soft right there? This is done with like, I, I would assume it's some type of, well, it's obviously a different product, but it looks like it was sprayed on with a spray can on top. So once upon a time, this was done professionally and then it probably wore through and then they went and sprayed it with a spray can with this and that's all soft. And this doesn't grind off very nice. So that's why I had to apply multiple layers of stripper on it because it was actually done a few times. All right, we're all brand new. Look at that. Super nice. Yeah, it turned out really nice. Look at that. You don't get any nicer than that. She's like super brand new. All right, we're done this job. I'm Matthew, porcelain surgeon, bathtubrenew.com, powered by Liquid Porcelain Technologies, and we'll see you on the next video. Yeah.